Hi, I'm Robert Reeves, CTO of Datacool. Today, I'm going to show you how to download and install Liquibase on your Windows laptop. Now, I'm at liquibase.org here, and I am going to go to download the Liquibase Community Edition. I'm going to go ahead and put my email address in. And when this is done, it is going to save this to my downloads directory. So we go over here to downloads, and I already have a copy of liquibase.zip. And I'm going to move this to my C drive. Now, of course, you can move this wherever you want, but just for the sake of this video, we're just going to put this on the C drive. And you can put this in a dev directory or your user directory. But what I did is I'm going to right click on this and select extract all to a directory, liquibase 3.8.0, on my C drive. Now that I have it downloaded and extracted on my machine, this file right here, this is my liquibase.bat file, and this is what I'm going to use to execute liquibase. Of course, I need to tell my machine where Liquibase is, and that means adding it to a system, in, a system environment variable called path. And so an easy way to do that is to hit the Windows key and select, uh, start typing in ENV, and we'll see edit the system environment variables. We'll go to environment variables, and then we'll go to path. And I'm going to edit this. And we're going to add this directory, c colon backslash liquibase 3.8.0 dash bin to my path. And so I just paste that in. We'll hit OK. We'll hit OK. And another OK. And so now I've added it to my path. So an easy way to see if that worked is we're going to go ahead and open up PowerShell. And we're going to type in Liquibase. And it looks like it started. Now, of course, Liquibase is a Java application. And so you might run into an issue where it will say Java's not installed. Um, so there are two problems that could be causing that. One is you might not have Java installed. So it looks like I have uh, 1.8. Uh, Java installed on my machine, or you might not have it on your uh, your path, your environment variable um, that tells your system how to find Java. So an easy way to do that is follow the instructions um, that we did for Liquibase, find Java on your machine, and add that to the environment variables. And once you're completed, you're going to be able to execute Liquibase from any place um, that you are with your PowerShell. Thank you.